and a welcome back. You're watching a team review here on Metro Television. Well, this afternoon, we've got a very big, big, big topic for discussion. I've got our guest seated who uh, uh, joined us right now. Of course, Kwame Ba is, um, is the founder CEO of Yves de Guitar. You know, he does a lot of things for these artists. And so he's definitely um, worthy to be on this table to help us discuss this particular topic. And also, we've got Donella. He's uh, this is like his second time on the show. Yeah, 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 he's a digital person. Everything you've got to know digitally, he's got you covered on that. And so today we are looking at booking an artist. All you need to know. Now we want to take it from different perspectives. Um, in the first place, you know, what what would be the basis for you to choose an artist for a setting show? Now looking at some of the things, incidents that have happened in the past where you know artists do not show up for concerts. Um, do they have to be part of promotion? All of these things, we'll get into the details. We are live on Facebook at Metro TV Gun and also on DSTV Channel 277. So let's get straight into it. Gentlemen, welcome to the table of life. What's good? It's been a minute. We we'll watch it. But we you are doing all the good ones for you. Ah, small, small, small. I'm happy to see you guys today. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. My boss too. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's, been it's been a while you came around. <laughs> Yeah. Donella, what's, what's up? good? Everything cool. Everything cool. Yeah, very, very busy. Very shut up. Like, go meet presidents before you No, you, you know, the whole thing is, you know, we have a very big street, uh, street jam coming up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Street Jamboree, so we've been busy uh, in and out. So you're going to be some money people here. Eh? Oh, yeah, we have to put things in order. He is the money. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm right. to say that. <laughs> so, so let's get into it, Kwame. Um, you have been working with these artists. When it comes to booking an artist for a show in this country, the ones that we have worked on, the ones that you know, has it been, you know, professionally as it is supposed to be done? Or sometimes you're like, hey, baby, like, really? Uh, before, before I started, mm. before I started Get The Artist, um, I saw a lot of unprofessional arts when it comes to booking of artists. Okay. So that is what I saw that I decided to correct. So the correction of all the unprofessionalism and everything, that doesn't have to happen like that is Get The Artist. Okay. So Get The Artist is um, a booking platform, mm. artist booking platform or um, artist with an E. So yeah. any entertainment person, be it a comedian, be it an actor, be it a musician, it's a platform that you can use to connect or get the person to okay. your function. So basically okay. that is it. And, and what are the procedures really? So is it that Charlie, I know Amrado or Chairman Kwame, so Rakwami, Pacho, I have a show coming on. Please, are you coming? Like, are you, will you be available? Okay, Rakwami is coming. You, like, just take us through the procedures okay. for that. Then we get into the nitty gritty. Okay, initially mm. I used to do that. I used to just call the artist. Nana, 20,000, will you play? Where? Here. Okay, take the money. I will come meet you then. Take them. I used to do that. But now this is how the chain is like. This is how the map is like. Mm. So the artist signs up with us, signs a contract with us that officially... He, he or she is giving us the right to go out there and take shows on their behalf. So we take the shows, then we connect to the artist, we give them the budget, give them the dates, we give them the time. We talk to them about the transportation, everything about the show. Then when the day comes, we either go with the artist to the show or we, um, we assign somebody to go with the artist for the show. We take the money and mm. we come back. And it goes beyond just shows. It, it's... it's Interviews, for instance, and you know, I've been, um, your producer is aware of that. I've been connecting a lot of artists to this platform. So most of the people know us to be credible in terms of getting people where they are supposed to be, like in the entertainment sector. Yeah. So if you need somebody for shows, somebody for um, questions, or like somebody for interviews, or somebody for endorsement deal, they know once it's coming from um, an Eve body, or mm -hmm. let's say anything affiliated to Eve Degetal, is credible because we've been here for a minute. So, yeah. So basically, that is it. So you contact us, then we get you the artist. We've signed some artists on our uh, on our platform. Okay. So we get them for you. Basically, that is it. Mm. So is it that these are individual artists or artists that are on a record label? We do both. Okay. We do both. There are artists who are with record labels that we have them on, and mm. there are a lot of independent artists. The reason why there are a lot of independent artists on get the artist is because. Independent artists, they are fighting for themselves. Yeah. So some are actually their own managers, mm -hmm. their, their own stylists, yeah. their yeah. own everything. You get it? So, so, and the work is tedious. So mm -hmm. we decide to come in and help them. So yeah. most of the shows 
they don't really put some artists I put on there. So let's say if you are booking, let's say, Ochiame Kwame, you book Ochiame Kwame for an X amount, mm -hmm. then I'll tell you, this guy is also good. You can add him and yeah. add a few coins to okay. it or a few this to mm -hmm. it. So basically that is it. So we do for artists with labels and we do for independent artists as well. So yeah. But, 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 but the way you're sounding, it makes right. it sound very easy. Yeah. Then, then, like, yeah. we shouldn't even have problems. Right. We shouldn't have issues where artists do not show up mm. or anything like that. But, Johnny, you are a digital person, yeah. and so you understand the numbers in that sense. Exactly. So, okay, um, I've got a show. Mm. I think I want to put this XY artist mm. on there. Um, what should I be looking forward to having the artist do for me in terms of promoting the show and mm. in the same way the artist also is looking that exactly. him being on your show will be a way exactly. to promote himself right so basically what Kwame, that, um, Kwame Bayan is talking about is booking agency yeah so that is what that's a booking agent mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. that's what we have missing in our system because for a very long time it is very difficult for you to walk into an office and say I'm looking for artist XY you have to maybe talk to a producer somewhere, somebody will connect you somewhere. It has always been a very long chain in terms mm. of getting these artists. So I'm happy for Kwame, you know, finally establishing it and it just see that to properly handle these things because this is what we lack. Now, again, when it comes to booking of artists, a lot of things go into it. You first have to check the numbers because talking about events, it's numbers game. It's not just about people coming to have fun. Okay. It's, it simply means that give me the numbers let me also get other businesses to come and exhibit, to come and sell their brands and all that. So if we don't have, throughout the session, if we don't have artists that can hold this crowd tight for a certain period of time, then it means that there wouldn't be a fantastic show. So you have to make sure that you are not just booking an artist who is coming on stage to perform, but you are booking an entertainer. And Shatawali is one, his artist is one, my artist is one. You know, it shouldn't just be come on stage, jump, 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 and mm -hmm. go. It should be creating an excitement. Somebody can be at the back of the stage, but we'll hear what the artist is saying mm -hmm. and would we'll love to get closer to the crowd. You get it? So you have to look for an X factor. That will be the, what will determine you to book for artist A, B, C, D. Now, beyond these things, of course, it wouldn't be every artist that will come into mind when it comes to booking artist for big gigs. Okay. That is where his company comes in because the essence of booking agency is not just for people to discover artists to book for shows, but also to lobby. So if there's a show coming to town, it beholds on him as a booking agency to pitch this artist and say artist X, Y also fit in because in as much as the artist doesn't have a big song, the artist is a very good performer. Mm. You get it because, you know, Consumer behavior, things are changing so fast, and people don't want to just jump to performances. If it is performances, we've watched many of that on YouTube over mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm. But what should be the ex reason why I should go there? And I love it, for instance, I think uh, after the Black Star Fest event, at the, yeah. everybody was talking about Asaka Boys. Yeah. Because, of course, we've known them for being there but they came in with something different. We saw the symbolism. You know, these are things. So in as much as people don't, in quotes, may not know their song, the act the on art, stage, okay. the euphoria mm. they create will let you stay in there until you can't take it no more. And it affects, you know, the artists, we, we all know the life of events. Yeah. It affects these artists a lot. For instance, we all know how Rihanna's streams has increased after the halftime show. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. And that is the culture I would want us to also encourage in Ghana. That is why for the first time we are going to do, as I mentioned already, we're going to do a, a program called Street Jamboree where we'd want to partner with a streaming service so that the artists don't come to perform and go, but there will be a way people can also discover the songs that they hear at these events. Now we have Boom Play in there. His company, of course, we can you know, pitch some of these ideas to other people to help, us that, to, uh, to help the industry. Okay. So that as you are enjoying the songs at these events, you shazam, you discover these artists, then their numbers are going. Because essentially in Ghana, apart from the streams, it is the physical events that people pay for yeah. that brings in money into their pocket. So okay. we have to make sure that we package our event very, very attractive. You know, sometimes you hear event organizers complaining. Of course, we all complain. We don't get corporate <laughs> Ghana supporting us. Yeah. But again, it is science. Event is science. You have to make sure that your plans, everything you have in place is engaging every single person.
Mm. You get because nobody will come and set up at your event if people are just walking around, nothing is engaging them. Because if I'm selling a product at okay. your event, I want people to spend about a few minutes at every single stand. Yeah. That is it. Of course, we've seen events in recent times inculcating a lot of these practices, and it's good in terms of business, you know, trying to make sure that all these things are happening. Okay. That is the only way we can sell beside the live performances okay. we see all the time. Do, do come in. Right. Yeah. Um, I wanted to find out from Kwame, but you were talking about how you pitch artists to um, events organizers, among others. Now, in the case where you do everything, take the money, and then the artist doesn't show up, what happens? We we'll drag the artist. <laughs> okay. You we will we'll drag. We will drag. And then, yes. Which one is my camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, no. You see, um, um, that is why it it's, it has gone beyond just friendship. This is business. Mm. If it's just me and the artist, it's a different thing because yeah. most of the artists they are my friends. But I knew. These things happen. That is why we got in touch with a lawyer and it was, it's that strong. Perfect. We have a strong legal background, let me put it that way. And um, during the lunch, he was there to, to explain to the artist. So we are signing contracts with the vendors and we sign contracts with the artist. And they both agree that this is what we are agreeing on. Mm -hmm. And we as middle people, we've brought these two people together. So this, this one will do what he's saying he will do. And this one will do what he's saying he will do. So if this side does this, you have to Consider come through with the part mm -hmm. of your deal. You see, yeah. if you don't, we will drag you. We will... Yeah. We will it will be legal. Yes. yes. It will be legal. Yes. When it comes to booking of artists, yeah. those that are independent and those with record labels, yeah. I want to find out from the record labels, do they um, pose troubles? Let's say that uh, they try to drag things maybe they are not happy with the terms and conditions of booking of the artists. Do they have such issues? Uh, even with the independent artists, mm -hmm. they, they also do. Because um, it's business and it's transactional. Once it's business and it's transactional, you won't get it per paper like that. Mm -hmm. You might bring, let's say, a budget and somebody will say, no, I don't want to bring it down for me. Bring it back and forth like that. Unless maybe the artist is... It's passing, it's passing somewhere to go and take the gig and mm. um, record label is mm. not well. Yeah, okay, it okay. Ah. happens like that. Yes, yeah. okay. quite recent one mm. happened. I'll mention his name later. <laughs> oh, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot. Yeah, I've heard a lot. So we, we know all these things. Mm. So, uh, the, you know, when I started the conversation, when I started talking, I talked about the unprofessionalism and all that. Mm. So we discovered all these loopholes and mm. we decided to deal with this professionally. So if... We will definitely have issues with artists and record labels and all that. And we'll use some as scapegoats. Mm -hmm. But it's strictly business. And strictly that, is, business. That, is where we, that is what we are focusing yeah. on. Okay. Okay. You know, um, Janina, you, you touched on the things you have to put in place um, before you actually announce to the public that I have artists ABC coming on. Now, you've talked about like the numbers, the symbolism, the wow factors. Though the uh, event hasn't been sold out, how do you pay the artists okay. as uh, an event organizer? How, where do you get the money to pay the artists? Because sometimes <laughs> <Advance>. they say <laughs> that, yeah, they mention yeah. advance. I'm taking this before this. So mm. where do you get the money when you haven't? So if you ask me from mm. my experience, I'll tell you, events actually start from the paperwork. Okay. You first have to make sure that your paperwork is making it's making sense to you financially okay. before you even announce that you are doing something. Okay. These are the things that we, you first have to... When I'm talking about paperwork, I mean, contact your potential supporters and sponsors. Okay. Do the calculations and see if it is going to make sense to you. Okay. However, if you are funding it solely, mm -hmm. <laughs> then it also means that you have to engage people you know a technocrat when it comes to setting field okay. and also create strategic partnership with people that you know off head you can't get them and pay them strike a business re re relationship with them there should always be contracts somewhere that tells what you should do and to every artist as well you know some of these things sometimes it looks too big in front of us but it's quite simple for instance if you are booking an artist first you should know the artist yeah you should have that every artist you want to put in for an event. Yeah. If not you directly, make sure that anybody you are mm -hmm. working, with working with has a closer relationship. Yeah. 
with these people mm. for them to understand because we are all talking about it. we are all speaking legal language yeah. but mm -hmm. circumstances do happen mm -hmm. things do happen mm -hmm. where you would have to you know where the contracts remember, don't even come in yeah. Yeah. you know mm -hmm. we went for a show one day somewhere in Takrad and it was raining all out we've we've taken an upfront already mm -hmm. and you know obviously people are not going to show up what mm -hmm. happens in that situation would you say because we've signed a contract that when we come you're going to pay the rest but there's supposed to be a cost. You know, sometimes there are some considerations. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And you know very well that there are some shows that we even play for free, but because we also know of the course. potentials they carry. Mm, of course. You get it. Of so course. things do happen, but the most important thing is human relationship okay. comes. Mm -hmm. is the, in fact, it's the actually whole the business most thing, important thing. Yes, yeah, actually, that's why I wanted to come in. That's it. It's actually the mm. most important because, you see, anybody can book an artist. Anybody can just of go course. online and get yeah. the artist yeah. number and call. Yeah. But you need somebody who knows the artist like that. So yes. that you, the paperwork is just for us to be secured, yes. right? Yeah. For security okay. reasons. Yeah. But really, mm -hmm. really, all the people we talk to, we are cool with them like that. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say for the, the, the instance, um, Johnny Lai is narrating mm -hmm. right now. If we know the artist to that extent, we mm -hmm. can talk to the artist and say, Nana, while you said Namfa. Yeah. And because of the relationship you have with the artist, the artist will say, Chale, nye shi, nye shi. Or me, yan sotu omka kran. We will come into mm -hmm. an agreement. Okay. But if you don't have any relationship with, yeah. the, with the artist, it is difficult. It's difficult. I think one so, African artist quite recent was sharing a story, went for an event like that, and there was some street clash. Okay. Mm. So, you know, upon realizing the situation was like, okay, I'm going to stay next day, cancel all the bookings that are not so crucial, and do it for you. Okay. These things were not mentioned in the, in in the, the contract. Contract. Yeah. contract that yeah. pair this thing, in case this thing happened, mm -hmm. this is how we're going to... You see, sometimes out of love. Yes. However, having contracts is key. When we are running these things, in as much as we know each other and this and that, we have to make... We, ha we should have a particular uh, mindset that, okay. listen, we are in for business. It's not just about the fame. It's not about, you know, okay, you've also done it. Mm -hmm. But money, it should be making financial sense because if it's making financial sense you can actually take your projections to any, any. organization for support okay. and okay. usually I've, I've I know before yeah, you start your comparison <laughs> before you start your comparison I want to add to what you right. said in, in case you have paid your money up front half and everything mm. how far in advance should you secure that artist to be able to say that he'll perform this thing let's mm. say we know December Afro future will happen yeah. of course how far in advance should the organizers be talking to the artists they want to book. Is it mm. like three months to the time, a year, or like let's say just a month to the time? <laughs> For me, I would advise a year. Okay. You know why? Sometimes when you hint them about your event, mm -hmm. they get they, now they have the chance to follow you okay. to know what you are doing. Yeah. Okay. You get it. But if you have to wait till two months, three months, they wouldn't see enough. Okay. They will even suggest ideas to you mm -hmm. on what to do, what yeah. not to do, okay. and all that. So I think it is it is right when you contact them ahead of time. Start tracking all those deals yeah. ahead of time. 11, it puts 12 you in a months. Yeah. Comfortable position. And uh, yeah. Kwame and Janila, yeah. can an artist be bigger than a, an event? I'm asking this because of what Whiskey did uh, yeah. with his event and Shatawali mm. as well with uh, when he was supposed to perform yeah, at Udra, the Udra okay. Festival. No, it's Hogbechocho. Is it Hogbechocho? No, Hogbechocho, Hogbechocho, Hogbechocho. Sorry. I mean, it looks like mm. sometimes artists are bigger than the event. And even though there are contracts and all that, they, they still do not come to perform. Mm. And with that, we were expecting them to be there. We, don't, we are not given any excuse or, or explanations as to why they were not there. Mm. To date, I still do not know why Whiskey didn't perform <laughs> in Ghana. Yeah, of mm. course, I believe some artists are bigger than certain events. Mm. What is the meaning of bigger? For instance, if you are doing a show of 15,000 and you call, let's say, Sarkodi, Sarkodi can decide to turn it down because 15,000. Mm. He will do his calculation and ask, how much is it going to end? And okay. I'm taking X amount. You get it. So certain artists are bigger. Now, sometimes the reason why we get that kind of picture after, when incidents like this happen, it's or because somebody is not doing his work right. True. That's okay. it. And of course, when you are dealing with artists, you need to have a lot of patience. And you also have to learn how to mount pressure, two things. You have to be patient and also learn how to mount pressure. Not the unnecessary pressure. <laughs> you, get, you should know how to get them from all angles. Yeah. Because see, they are 
in as much as they are human beings, like as their their position in society has placed them on a different level. Yeah. So the way you approach them is also different. different. An artist can tell you, yo, I'm here, but please, I don't want to take any photo right now. For all you know, it's been stressful all out. Yeah. Okay. You get it. True. An artist going for a show, like for instance, an artist going to play a standard show will never go with less than 30 people. True. Mm -hmm. You get yeah. it. And if they tell you that we need 15 hotel rooms, hey, what are you coming to do? No, he's <laughs> coming to perform. But yeah. performance is not just the artist. Yeah. It is the whole environment. True. The euphoria they build. Because thousands of people coming to that venue, they are coming because of that particular artist. Yeah. And they know this is the setup. This is what they are going to get. Mm, yeah. So, yes, artists can be bigger. But I also feel like, personally, I wasn't happy with what happened in relation to the whiskey situation, mm. because it would have been we one of the hits. biggest. Yes, yeah. because it would have been one of the biggest. You see, we want international events to come mm. to Ghana. Yeah. However, they also use all these things to tick the boxes True. as to whether we are ready for this event yeah. or not. So I feel, yes, of course, we'd want to see another Chris Brown, another whiskey, another yeah. Burner Boy, and all yeah. that. We'd want to see like our own Sakodie Shatawali doing the Black Star kind of event. You know, Sakodie's virtual concert still remains one of the best. Best. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Would yeah. want, and you know, yeah. it is. I'm, I'm saying this because it was a partnership between him and a different company yeah, true. Yeah. producing it. If if our local organizations are not going well, there's no way somebody will come and invest into it. Invest in yeah. it. Okay. But even mm -hmm. even right. even in the Westgate concert, mm. do you feel in our Ghanaian calendar, mm. timing is key? Because Whiskey's event was the 11th of December, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was way ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Whilst we know that in Ghana, yeah. the, the last week yeah. in December <laughs> yeah. is the popping pop stage. If you check our Ghanaian calendar, should um, promoters, mm. organizers actually look into this? And then I want you to touch a bit, whilst you check on the timing, right. what is the difference between a promoter and an organizer? Good. Because it seems to confuse <laughs> yeah. most of us. Yes. The role of the organizer and the role of the promoter. So yeah. let's touch on the timing in our calendar and then, then the, the difference promoter. between these yeah. two. I mean, you shoot, shoot. Hey, boss, hey. <laughs> hey shoot. Me, me, I can't <laughs> meet my boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have a history. history yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> timing is key. You know, with kids' events on 11th, yeah, it was still going to work out if, if we had done a promotional bit. Yeah, all the okay. promotional stuff, yeah. Because let's check it. In as much as Whiskey has been out there doing all the big yeah. events during summer and other things, Whiskey can pull off season numbers mm -hmm. right. because it's big. That is, that is it. It's in its own world. And they say, even let's look at what happened in the US mm -hmm. week, week, a few weekends ago, yeah. right? Yeah. Afro Nation US. Yeah. Yeah. His set was totally different, different. from the original setup. Yeah. That is the power he carries as an True. artist. You get it. So, however, if you are not pulling, that kind of event, or if you are not organizing an event of such magnitude, I would recommend that you do proper promotion. Promotion, mm -hmm. okay. You get it. Uh -huh. Because if you don't do that, you lock yourself somewhere. Okay. And sometimes, public can be deceptive when it comes to promotion, if you are not careful. <laughs> that is why I said there is a scientific element in okay. events. Yeah. Don't I want yeah. you to quickly mm -hmm. touch on the... Um, the promoter. The promoter. Uh, because like, the your, lot, your, yeah. what yes. his company does, yeah. you promote. No. Okay. He, he's a booking agency. We are, we are, we are more like... Um, it's a booking agency. Book so yeah. we, don't, we don't promote. Okay, so you are like organizers. We are no. not the organizers. No. They book yeah. on we are none of them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. They're the artists. Okay. Okay. So first, they handle distribution. Okay. They handle promotion of your brand and everything okay. else. Okay. However, they are also playing the agency role where you sign up with them. Okay. And they pitch you for interviews, events, and everything else. Oh. Okay. You get okay. it. So yeah. if you want to do a show right now, yeah. you don't need to call this person's manager, call this person. So you call Just them. call his office yeah. and his office will do the rest we'll of the middle man. Okay. Exactly. But okay. Okay. how do you even you. Uh, negotiate <laughs> for fees when it comes yeah. to artists, booking an artist? Mm -hmm. How do you negotiate for a fee? Because <laughs> an organizer can say that maybe I'm uh, paying an artist, uh, let's say 20000 but mm -hmm. then the artist is not comfortable with that money. So how mm -hmm. are you able we, to... We, we, we know most of the... We, we know the range that most of the artists charge. Right. Okay. So sometimes you don't necessarily have to be in the range. Sometimes it depends on the show. If the show is, a, let's say, a charity show, or if the show has some reputation and all that, we, we can even come through and perform for free. It depends. On, a lot of things come to play. Okay. So sometimes they might um, suggest the amount they want to pay the artist. It might be good. It might be 
recently we we got one for an artist I won't mention. It. We got one for Amrado. Yeah. Okay. Promotion. So yeah, we got one for Amrado. And it's a promotion. Uh, yeah, it's promotion. <laughs> <laughs> we got one for Amrado, and the 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 money they wanted to pay wasn't 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 there like yeah. that, right? But I gave him um, a lot of reasons why he should he should take the show because yeah. there are numerous ones coming. Mm. Yeah. So based on that, he took the show. You get it. So a lot of things come to play when they are okay. Yeah. Right. So um, if you just tuning, uh, you're watching a summer review. We've, we're talking about booking an artist for events in Ghana. We've got some minutes to go. So in Ghana, some of the reasons why events um, people get fed up with it is lit. Late performance <laughs> times, True. yeah, and sometimes artists taking double shows. If per the contract, it is stated in there, and also I wanted to add promotion. It just came to mind. Per the contract, it's stated that. Do you put the time in there? Do the organizers put the time in there? No, we don't. No, it's it's okay. What happens is when you are booking the artist online, you put in the time you want the artist to. To come, so it's in their contract, like online. Yes, yes, mm. but um, definitely it changes. So it comes with communication. Oh, but right. but yeah. if if I mean you are organizing the event for an mm. audience, and we know that it starts at ten, mm. it's supposed to end around two. Yeah, mm. and if the show drags, whose fault is it really? Mm. Mm. Sometimes the artist mm. coming in late, mm. and as an organizer. Mm. You are, so let's say you give an artist. Yeah, I get it. So Eleven. I get it. Sometimes it can be nature. Sometimes it can be nature. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me resolve. Sometimes I understand your question. Let me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you've given me nine p.m. Right? You've given me nine p.m. On my way to your show, and I mean, first time my accident. That's one out of many. I know. Me too. It's nature, or it's raining. Giddy giddy like that, right? You're giving me nine. Yeah. But I have to, if we if we are going by the contract, right? Mm -hmm. Then I have to make sure that nine, if there's nobody there, I'll just go and perform and go. No. Sometimes the show can even start at one. So I'm saying, once you are booking the artist, you put in there the time you want the artist to be okay. contract, uh, yeah. so that it will be in the contract, mm -hmm. right? But relationship comes to play mm -hmm. and communication after the mm -hmm. whole thing. You get it. So sometimes it's not a fault of the artist. Sometimes it might be the fault of the organizer, or it might be nature, as I said. Or it can be the artist who, like, it can be the artist, but I'm saying it's really a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this, I have something to tell event promoters. We should learn how to lock these artists. See, we have to start learning from the bigger markets. See, if you have a show on 1st July, I would let you understand that. Per my contract, you don't have to do any other show around that date, before and after. That is how to lock an artist. As the people who were performing at Afro Nation, if, and Afro Future, right? Yeah. If they had the opportunity to do other shows. No. That is it, because we know artists by nature, that is your season. And yeah. of course, so if you want me, I'll let you know that, listen, if I'm playing your show on 1st July, mm -hmm. I have three other shows on the same day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now... If I should play all these three shows on the same day, I was going to make about 50,000 Ghana cities, mm -hmm. maybe more, mm -hmm. or a million yeah. Ghana cities. Yeah. Okay. Now, so you have to choose between paying that amount mm -hmm. and letting me come late mm -hmm. whilst I do the other shows. Mm -hmm. So you have to determine your strength as an event promoter. Yeah. See, an event organizer is the person who does the administrative part of everything. Yeah. Yeah. That is the backbone behind the promoter. Yeah. Okay. The, promote, the promoter takes money, go and hand, put in logistics, mm -hmm. booking of artists, security, and everything, everything. else. Okay. But even with that, we have events, uh, we have head of production, yeah, head people of production. who handle yeah. the yeah. very technical aspect yeah. of the event. Yeah. Okay. You get it? So, at, listen, artists will continue to be artists, and more especially, the artists themselves don't know about these things. It's their managers that are supposed to know yeah. better. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 you yeah. book an artist, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. get yeah. a yeah. show, yeah. you yeah. as an yeah. artist. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jonila, yeah. yeah. Stoneboy yeah. did perform at Afro Nation and Afro Chela. Stoneboy. So, yes, so you see, so that's contracts, contracts are negotiable. Exactly. Contracts are negotiable. Of course, there's somebody in there who knows how busy his schedules True. are. Yeah. For instance, maybe he has his own show coming up as well. Yeah. So besides being on your show, he has to do some radio rounds. Mm -hmm. He has to do some free shows to get other artists on board as well. Because yeah. you know in Ghana, 
play my Omega play on. Yeah. It happens a lot. Yeah. So you, I'll have to explain to you that these are the conditions behind my booking. Okay. Yeah. If you are okay with it, cool. I can't perform go. We saw the instance of Black Sheriff drive, uh, moving all the way from Nigeria, motorbike straight to Afro Future. Yeah. Right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. And everything happened. We didn't hear any noise because they know. They've already probably had they've that. They've taken the money yes. already. <laughs> but not necessarily the money. Maybe they had that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we should also not forget that Black Sheriff jumping on motorbike at that time was a big, you know, Risk. Risk. communication for him. Yeah. Not just rich, but it was big for him. That yeah. he really wanted to be there. Yeah. Of course. And that is the Black Sheriff brand. Okay. Exactly. It's a street brand. You wanted to add something. Yeah. But I think let me just add my final question. <laughs> that is, are, are artists supposed to promote events they are booked for? Thank you. Uh, it, it depends. Yes, but you see, sometimes it depends on the communication. But with our deals we have with artists, it's in the contract that you have to at least make a post about the show. Even a post. I mean, you no, have I'm, the I'm saying at least. Yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying at least. Okay. I'm saying at least because you can do more. Okay. You can do, because it's also your show. When the show flops, you, you are also yes, part part of in the debt. Yes. Mm. But it's, it's nice for the artist to be part of the people pushing yeah. the whole event. So that, it, that is why we included that in our contract. Okay. Nevertheless, we have artists who won't post and you can't do them anything. <laughs> and it's there. Some, sometimes we just have to accept. Go, go and see most of the shows, uh, Brenner and all these people. Are, are on. Even Sarkozy. Yeah. There are festivals they are on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They will never post. Oh, no, they will post. <laughs> Black Sheriff was supposed to be one of the biggest till now. He never posted the artwork, he never posted his performance, <laughs> he never posted <laughs> a, a, a post event yeah. video. No, but you you see, get some, it. So, like you know, someone like Bernard mm -hmm. confirmed that he was going to come for Afro Feature. And he posted it. Yes. Yes. Stone Boy did the same. So maybe it yeah. also on the event. Yeah. 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 Social Sometimes, media yeah. in recent time has become extension of the artist brand. Yeah. Mm. And event promoters should not take that for granted. Listen, start it, stating in your contract yes. how many times they should post. Yeah. yeah. The number of radio and TV yes. appearances they are supposed to do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because mm. it's not just about the artists coming to perform. Yeah. Let them build the enthusiasm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You get it. And trust me, if this is what artists probably don't know. Event organizers like artists who promote yeah. their own yes. events. Yeah. 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 And you see, in Ghana, trust me, I'm very comfortable with Shatawale being brand ambassador for companies. You know mm -hmm. why? He would do everything yeah. crazy with the brand. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd want him to do more. See, there are some artists they signed here in Ghana as ambassadors. We, we never felt the impact. Mm. <laughs> and if I'm in a board meeting like that, somebody like that will not be picked. Yeah. See, yeah. we have to help add, each other. Add, add Stoneboy's name to that. Yeah, Stoneboy's yeah. Stone 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 Yeah, yeah. Good. Stone you get Stone it. I think Kwame Yuji too is very yeah, good. Yeah, some of them are so yeah. good when it comes to them, promoting yeah. that. But I think we need to do more. See, let's see how people are people go crazy. And again, this company should also make the package quite juicy so that these guys can go extra. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 You know, some of them will not uh, do certain things uh, like promotion and among other things or, or do this, go for this interview. They won't do it because they'll tell you that it's not in the contracts. Yes. Yes. And uh, you can't hold them for it. Like yeah. Shatawale says, I'm yeah. not going for any radio yeah. uh, because yes. it's, it's not, not in the contract. The, but yes. in this situation, how are you able to handle it when he says it's not in the contract so I'm not doing it? That is why we put in the contract. Yes. Yeah, so you have to put it in the relationship come to play. Yes. Mm. Right. Because... Perfect. First of all, you, the event promoter, you should know the dynamics on the ground. There are mm -hmm. certain events, yeah. certain areas in Ghana that no matter your radio, TV, commercial, if yeah. the artists don't do floats, yes. Yes. don't yes. go on the yeah. street yeah. to communicate, yeah. Yeah. forget yeah. 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 I know some, some regional capitals in Ghana here. If you don't camp on the streets, yes, mm. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I was always saying that. Don't go too far. <laughs> I'm wondering why. Most events in Ghana really do not put a lot of effort in their stage. We, 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 we are tired of seeing the normal, you know, the mounds and the speakers. That's mm. it. We don't see anything wow. Yeah. It's just a few occasions that you see. But it, that one, cry. it's yeah. not but wow. But, but, but do the artists ask, though, which yeah. stage, stage, like yeah. microphone set up, mm -hmm. is yeah. it going to be yeah. like before? It depends on the artist. Okay. Okay. Most of the big artists, they, they, they ask. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm happy you brought this up. Yes. And there's an event organizer. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to... I want to uh, they are more concerned about the money. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So why do you put up these stages for us to come and perform? Thank you. <laughs> so... Our previous event that we did in December called River mm -hmm. Jamboree. Mm -hmm. See, we Crazy. created we Crazy. created a whole art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You get it. That was our first edition, but we try as much as we can 
to let you feel that okay, I came no, no, to River Jamboree. Please do that in a minute for me. You get it. Okay, and quick one. You know, I'm doing street jamboree on this. <laughs> yeah, so, so, I'm so, I'm right the street. whole banner. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. But you see, come back to the fact that Whiskey's uh, set, the right. stage, mm -hmm. will be one of, like, let's say, the biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Like, the, the biggest seen, yeah. stage I have ever seen. Because yes. I've attended events, and that stage was very yeah. spectacular. And I think yeah. we moving forward, we have to go on that level. And he didn't go yeah. on another yeah. thing because he Please, said it was not safe for him. There's a challenge when it stage. comes to that. Okay, 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 30 seconds. 30 How? There's a challenge. See, we need professional set designers okay. now. Okay. But we have we, some in Ghana. We have some, but they are not so visible. And also, mm. they are. Oh, I know one. Attitude. Okay. They are working. Oh, no, I know one. I know one. people away. Okay. You get it. I, yeah. I know one. Okay. No all right, right. Janela, thank you. Kwame, uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, please, if you want to book any artist, there's where you should go to. Get the artist. Okay, com. get the artist.com. Most of them here. Tell me, you be a mom. Okay, get the artist.com. You go there, yeah. you see all the artists you want to book, you contact yeah, us. Or you can go on our social media. <laughs> exactly. You can go on our social media platforms. There's a number there. Let me put the number out. It's 020-058-1572. Call us and book an artist today. Please end the show with... Okay, Chris so... King Palutes. So, <laughs> you, know, you know what? So, Kwame Ba is with Gavi Artists. Yes. The founder, and Yves Begitol, yes. and also Johnny Lala. 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 Johnny all right, thank you very much for watching the show. My name is Desperate in the Summer. I was here with Anaya Tonobati, Harry Taddy, and also Hey.